Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Miranda, and I am the Enchantress of Avalon. So I want to thank everyone for their patience as I took a two-week hiatus, first to celebrate my birthday and then to attend the Sister Order of Avalon's Ninefold Festival last weekend, but I'm back now. I'm actually going to be doing my September monthly Ko-Fi video on some of my thoughts about my first Ninefold Festival. So if you're interested in checking that out, you could support me over on Ko-Fi, which is kind of similar to Patreon. Link to that information is in the description box below. But for today's video, I want to talk about the fact that it is finally officially autumn. Yay! The happiest time of the year. And I wanted to talk a little bit about autumnal and spooky season activities that are some of my favorites and just really celebrate that finally the weather is cooling down and I, when I go outside I feel the crispness in the air and it is truly my favorite time of year. I don't agree with the whole traditional idea of oh Christmas is the happiest time of the year. No it's not. Give me fall, give me crisp weather and cozy sweaters and the changing of leaves. Yes, please. <laughs> so, uh, I am just going to list some of my favorite activities and talk about them a little. And hopefully this is interesting for everybody. And uh, first one, just going for walks outside and watching as the leaves are changing and getting to smell all of that autumn smell in the air as things are dying off and the world is closing in on itself to get that rest that we all need in winter. You know, winter is actually traditionally a time of rest. So all of that last burst of energy that we get in autumn is amazing. And getting to see that, those sights and smell the smells, especially the smell of changing leaves is absolutely amazing. I adore getting to just walk through my neighborhood. Even my walk to work in the morning, when the leaves are changing, I usually walk slower and really enjoy all of the beauty surrounding me in a way that you don't get other times of year. I also do like spring, which is again, temperate weather, but it's still second favorite autumn's the best. Can't beat it. And I also love hiking in the forest. As those of you will attest to have seen my previous video where I took you on a little woodland adventure with me. And being in the forest in autumn with all the leaves changing is absolutely amazing and magical. Although the forest is magical any time of year. There is so much beauty there to be found in every different evolution of the turning wheel of the year. And then of course, it's autumn. We can't forget apples and pumpkins. I love apple picking and apple festivals, and I love going to pumpkin patches, and of course, carving pumpkins. I have never stopped carving pumpkins since childhood. It is not just a kid thing. Although, it is a fun way to embrace your inner child. And it's so creative and so artistic and it is just fun. What uh, is not fun about getting to get your hands dirty and get into the guts of that pumpkin and pull out all those seeds and then getting to carve the pumpkin, you get out some aggression. My husband, uh, the first time he actually physically carved a pumpkin with me, he's like, this is fun. I get to stab this pumpkin and it's a massive rush. And I said, well, yeah, of course. In childhood, he didn't carve them himself. So now he gets to, and it's very, very fun. Uh, and then of course, watching seasonal films. What is more fun than picking your favorite Halloween films or just favorite seasonal fall feeling films? and watching them on repeat all autumn long. And I love this. I watch a lot of these year round because I love them, but Practical Magic, although it is actually set in summer, 
technically. It's only that last sequence actually on Halloween night. But it just, it feels cozy and warm and inviting and it has that very fall feeling and a lot of people consider it in an awesome fall movie. And everyone knows I also love Hocus Pocus. I, lo I even love the sequel. A lot of people didn't like it. I love it. Please no hate in the comments for me loving Hocus Pocus too. And of course, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Those are all films that I'll watch any time of year. I do not care if it's not seasonally appropriate, but there's something even more fun about watching these films in autumn. It's just amazing. And really anything Tim Burton is perfect for autumn. He has a very autumnal quality to his work. So also watching Corpse Bride and Sweeney Todd, super fun, super gory musical. I know that there's a lot of issues, not as good as the stage musical. It's a movie. The movie musicals are never quite as good as the stage musicals, but it is a super fun movie to watch. And of course, segueing that right in, watching horror movies. I am a huge horror film fan, and I again do watch horror films all year long. I don't care when it is on the calendar, but they are super, super seasonally appropriate and fun during autumn, especially if it's a cold, stormy night in autumn and you pop in a good, creepy film. So fun. I'm not someone who gets easily scared at horror films, but it's still super fun to just have that ambiance and that atmosphere of having a storm raging outside and watching something creepy go down. And I also really love slasher films. So watch a bunch of people get killed and get that release of those pent up what if emotions because it's actually psychologically healthy to watch horror films. We are exposing ourselves in a safe environment to all sorts of scary possibilities without being in danger of actually physically being in harm ourselves. Gotta love it. Okay, a lot of people don't, but I certainly do. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I watch this multiple times every autumn, but I also do like it other times a year, but there is so much fun watching it in autumn, especially if you get to watch it with people who also love it. Watching it with my friends last year was super fun, especially because I finally got my husband to watch it. He had never watched it all the way through with me and I finally got him to watch it, which was super fun. And uh, watching the differing reactions, the girls who had seen Rocky Horror before and knew what they were in for and were really into it, just super jazzed and super into it. I'm talking, singing the songs. Yes, we time warped in my living room. So fun. Versus the guys not really knowing what Rocky Horror was. My husband knew, but some of the other people in the room did not know. And sitting there like, what did I just watch? <laughs> it's awesome. If you have not seen Rocky Horror, I do highly recommend it. But it is going to be one of the weirdest films you ever see, which is the appeal of it. It's supposed to be weird and fabulous for what it is. But yes, not for everyone. But it should be experience, an experience to just watch it once. And the last few things I want to talk about briefly in this video that are very autumnal are, of course, Halloween costumes, cider, pumpkin seeds, and uh, then we're going to talk a little bit about divination and spiritual topics. So costumes, so fun. I'm still trying to formulate what kind of costume I'm going to wear this year. I don't know. I have ideas though. Uh, and just, I have pictures from like so many decades, so many years of different costumes I've done. And 
multiple costumes some years because again, I love this time of year and I will find an excuse to dress up throughout the season, you know, throughout that last week of October because it's super fun. Uh, cider, apple cider, especially warm apple cider with cinnamon is just so amazing. And yes, you can get apple cider all through winter, but it's freshest in autumn and you just get the apple cider and you warm it up in a mug and it is this cozy, warm, amazing experience. It's unrivaled and so much better than eggnog <laughs> or any of your like classic like Christmassy drinks. I would take cider any day. And yes, I do drink cider at Christmas because of this, but it's not, it's not the same to drink cider at Yule time. It is so much better in autumn. And pumpkin seeds. When you're carving your pumpkin, save those seeds, clean them off and bake them in the oven because your fresh baked pumpkin seeds are going to be well, well, so far beyond amazing compared to those little like pure white pumpkin seeds you can get in a pack that are completely covered in salt. That is what the white is. It is completely covered in salt. Those are good enough. They're fun. Yes. But it does, it just pales in comparison to actual fresh pumpkin seeds. And baking off your fresh pumpkin seeds and then having a horror film marathon while you're eating pumpkin seeds is super fun. And then finally, of course, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the Enchantress of Avalon if I did not mention divination and any kind of spiritual work. Autumn, especially going into Samhain, is a time when the veil is incredibly thin. And I feel that as soon as the autumn equinox passes, that veil is super thin all the way through mid-November. Thinnest, yes, on Samhain, but really it's thin all the way through mid-November. And it's such a great time to commune with spirits that have gone by to make, to recognize, make recognition you know, offerings or other things if you do ancestor work. And of course, do your divination. You can tap into so much within the spiritual realms, within the fey realms, within any sort of spiritual context or spiritual dimension you're trying to commune with so much more easily when you're in this in the space of the season of the witch when everything is just so much more magical so yeah do your divination do your spiritual work but be safe just be safe i do hope you've liked this little autumnal love fest that i had going on and again happy autumn equinox it just passed on saturday the official autumn equinox date and I hope that everyone ha is having a safe and happy autumn so far and continues to do so. And I'll link some blog posts in the description box below as I always do. Have a very, very magical Monday, everyone. Bye now.